This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. If you've ever driven south out of downtown Griffith and gotten stuck in traffic at Avenue H, you'll be thankful for this. Town Councilman Rick Rifa says that they're set to build a roundabout there to the tune of about $2.5 million, with the federal government putting up 80% and the town the rest. The state says there's about 300 roundabouts in Indiana, half of which are in the Indianapolis suburb of Carmel, which says it has more than any other city in America. Have you voted yet to make the Mascot Hall of Fame USA Today's Best Pop Culture Museum? You can vote until February 12th on the newspaper's website. The Mascot Hall of Fame and its mascot Reggie are competing against 18 other nominees, including a Christmas Story House in Cleveland and the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame in Milwaukee. The Mascot Hall is currently in third place. Here's the balloon drop for Reggie's recent birthday party. In 2010, Old Mill Pizzeria in Maryville closed its doors after two decades in business. But now Old Mill Pizza is back at Buddy and Pals on Summit Street in Crown Point using original recipes from Maryville. Old Mill Pizza replaced Langle's Pizza as the in-house restaurant of the popular sports bar, which also has locations in Winfield and Cherville. And in sports, the Duneland Athletic Conference race in boys basketball is heating up. Portage hits the road to take on Maryville. Here's a look at that game. Maryville currently sits in a tie for first place in the Duneland. The Pirates welcome in Portage, who is looking to pick up a second straight win of its own. Under four in the first, Maryville down and chipping away. Bryce Peters hands it off to Keyshawn Mitchell. The senior comes up firing and connects from deep. Pirates within a point. Portage cleaning up on the offensive glass later on, though. Dalen Powell keeps it alive for Amari Evans, the junior burying the long ball. This one, though, goes down to the wire, and it is Maryville who goes home happy. Kelvion Brown is off to the races, going right at the defender as he goes up strong for the finish. The Pirates sink the Indians 61-59 in overtime to record a sixth straight win. To read up on more local news and headlines, visit JedTV.com and NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.